How are we doing, guys? Good. Good. What is the health and status of your two starting tackles as this week begins? And if they aren't able to do much today, how will you handle that? Yeah, we'll, we'll just see what they're able to do. Uh, we'll take their situations day by day, and if they're not able to go, we'll put the other guys in there. Both be limited to the, today at best? Uh, both will be limited today at best, yes. Another guy will be Cam and Brandon. I'm sorry? It'll be Brandon on the right and Cam on the left if that's the case. Yeah, probably not going to articulate what our exact rotation is today, but those are the available guys. Those are the guys that played the other day in the ball game. Will Paulo do anything for you today? Uh, if he does, it'll be a little bit limited. He's dealing with a knee and an ankle. He's doing better, though. What you like about Brandon Knight coming out of school? Uh, I think as much as anything, we liked what he was all about, um, you know, mentally and, and, and kind of emotionally as a player. Play with a really good spirit, uh, but he also had position flex. You know, he's played uh, he's played different spots for us, and, and really has handled himself well. Uh, did a good job in the game. Certainly wasn't perfect, but went in there his first action. Uh, thought he hung in there, kept fighting, kept battling. You moved him to guard in the middle of camp. Was that based off of injuries across the line, or did you just want to give him a little? You, bit you know, with offensive line, I mean, you're always trying to see if they can be versatile. I mean, the worst thing that can happen for an offensive lineman in his quest to make a football team is to be pegged as a one position guy. So he certainly had the traits to do it. And uh, we felt like he was smart enough to do it. And he handled it well. Neville Hewitt constantly stands out in the Jets defense. Solid wrap up tackler. He's played every snap but one through four games. What challenges does he present? Uh, he's a good player. They have a good defense. Uh, they have a really good front. Uh, they got a number of high picks on their front and in the middle of their defense. They got good back end players. And you know he seems to be a guy, like I said, who's very active and is around the ball a lot and makes a lot of plays for them. What'd you like about Donald? Sam Donald, what'd you like about him? Uh, Obviously, he was one of the most highly regarded guys coming out that year. And uh, I just think uh, as much as anything else, you love his ability, his instinctiveness, his toughness as a player. Um, you know, we didn't spend a tremendous amount of time on him because he was going to be uh, picked really high. Uh, but just in the evaluations that we did have, you certainly was, were impressed by his approach, his ability, and his instincts as a player. Darnold's mobility coach, what, what concerns does that create for you? Uh, again, he's just someone who can make plays from the pocket. He's got a really good stroke, throws the ball well. But also, when plays break down, he can improvise and make plays on the move. And you see him running with the ball, but you also see him getting out of getting out of the pocket and making plays with his arm down the field. What's Antoine Woods status for practice today? And can you talk about without him being in there, has that impacted your, your run defense in any way? Well, we're certainly hopefully he can practice. He's, he's worked uh, hard the last couple of weeks to get back. And uh, we anticipate him doing something today. So hopefully, you know, he'll practice more and more as the week goes on. And he, he's been a good player for us. And, uh, you know, typically on the defensive line, you do have a rotation. So a lot of different guys are playing. Uh, but he's been a good interior player for us, both against the run and affecting the quarterback. So uh, it'd be good to get him back on the practice field and giving him a chance to play this week. Jerry Thompson, he was pretty physical on the kickoff return unit this past game. From a special team standpoint overall, what is he doing? He's just done a lot of really good things with every opportunity we've given him. You know, when he played a couple of weeks ago as a safety, he was physical, he was around the ball a lot, and he's done that on special teams throughout. So he's a smart football player, he's around the ball a lot, and like you said, he's physical, he likes to hit, and that shows up whatever opportunity he does get. How impressive was Gallup last week when coming back from the injury in, in the time frame he did, and then what, how he was able to perform against the Packers? Yeah, he just did a really good job. He was able to practice, you know, uh, fully uh, for most of the week and handled that work well and just uh, went out and played and, and made some plays in the game for us. Uh, his touchdown catch down the right sideline was a big time play for us, but he made some other plays as well. And, you know, he's really grown as a player with every opportunity he gets. What more do you learn about a guy uh, when he comes off, he comes off that injury and performs the way he is? Does that kind of go into memory bank to think, okay, He's not only mentally tough, he's got some physical toughness. Yeah, but for a guy like that, it reaffirms what you're finding out about him. You know, he's demonstrated that for us since we've gotten him. And, uh, you know, he stands up to adversities and, and comes out the other end of them. And, you know, I think this is just another example of that. And uh, he's shown that to us. He's shown physical toughness. He's shown mental toughness. He's certainly performed well in the game. What went into the decision to have uh, Devin Smith 
inactive? It was just because Gallup was back up, or why did you go on that trade? Well, uh, Ventel Bryant was up uh, in the game because uh, Kayvon Frazier was out. Uh, and, uh, you know, we needed someone to compete at that flyer spot opposite CJ. So that was a big factor in that uh, role on special teams. And, uh, you know, Devin has done a nice job for us. When he's gotten opportunities, he's certainly come through for us. But it was as much a special team decision as anything else. When you're playing your backup offensive tackles, either one or maybe even both, as a play crawler, are you, how mindful are, are you of that? Or when you design a game plan that, okay, these guys, it's not Tyrant, it's not Leo. How, how mindful do you have to be? Well, I think you have to have a good understanding of all your matchups. And, uh, you know, whenever you're putting your plan together on offense or defense in the kicking game, you know, that's where it starts. It starts with personnel. And uh, we feel good about our tackles. Those guys went in there and they played well in the game. Uh, but you, all, you always have to uh, be on the lookout for a, an issue that you might have at that position or any position and address it. Address it by game plan. Make sure you have enough stuff in there. And then address it during the game. Be able to adjust as you go. What aspects of Amari Cooper's route running makes him effective over the course of the game when it's time to do a double move? He's found a way to make some big plays. Yeah, he's just such a good player for so many different reasons. I think if you start with, with his approach, how smart he is as a guy and how smart he is as a football player, uh, how important it is to him. Uh, he certainly has all the physical tools you want. He has a big, strong body. He's fast. He's quick. He's explosive. He can change direction. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I think he has patience. Uh, he does a good job, you know, when he runs double moves, selling the routes. You know, he wins on the initial route a lot, so they have to defend that. And then he does a good job selling that. So he's a really complete player. Uh, he can run routes from inside and outside. He can run routes at all three levels of the defense. And uh, he, he certainly makes a lot of little plays for us and has made a lot of big plays for us. He played outstanding in the game the other day. With those double moves, are essentially catching the defense in something of a lull where they're cheating on that initial route and maybe trying to get ahead of it when they're leaving them a bit vulnerable for a double? Maybe a little bit, but the only way you're going to guard them is if you go guard them. Uh, you know, that's how you have to defend those routes. And, and again, the patience that he has uh, on those routes, uh, first off winning on the initial route, but then being able to come back and, and attack him with a double move, it's been a big part of his game. I know there's mitigating factors in some of the interceptions, but has Dak been more aggressive or maybe even risky down the field this year than uh, you know, again, the biggest thing we try to, to preach with our quarterbacks is just good decision making, and he's proven to be a very good decision maker uh, over the course of his career. And uh, you know, if you look at the interceptions from the other day, one was a ball that you know uh, came off of Amari. Uh, you know, maybe the location of the ball could have been more in front. Certainly, Amari would tell you that I should make that play. Uh, he was probably aggressive on the second throw. Uh, and then the one at the end, there was a lot of contact on the top of the route. So, you know, you know, sometimes you can kind of put all those things and make a big generalization about something. It's important to go back and look at what happened on each of the plays. He certainly made a lot of little plays for us and a lot of big plays for us in the passing game over the first five weeks. So you don't see this really as a, I mean, you are getting the ball down the field more and inherently you would think there's more risk reward ratio changes a little bit on that. You don't necessarily see that factoring in on the turnovers. Yeah, the I think the biggest thing you want to do is be a really good decision maker. I think it comes back to that. Um, you know, typically we have vertical <laughs> routes, we have intermediate routes, and we have underneath routes on our pass patterns. And, and you, want to, you want to aggressively take what the defense gives you. If they give you an opportunity to go down the field, you want to be confident enough to make those throws and make those catches. And if not, you work your way through the progression. And uh, not every progression is the same. I mean, different pass patterns have different ways you look at them, but uh, you just want to make good decisions on a consistent basis. That's what the best quarterbacks do. I think through five games, uh, Elliott's production is as low as it's been in his career. Is that a product of the way the game, last week's game went, taking him out in certain situations, you guys have had big leads? And do you, do you see anything with his, what he's been able to do through five games? Yeah, obviously he's a really good football player and, and we want to give him consistent opportunities throughout the game. and. You know, in regards to the game the other day, we had a lot of production on offense, but we were behind in the game, and a lot of that production was through the air. And Zeke was a big part of that at different times, and he's certainly someone who's been very impactful for us when we hand it to him and throw it to him. And when we play our best offensive football, he's a big part of it. As a defense, what are the challenges, as a run defense, the challenges of defending jet sweep motions that can happen and make sure your eyes are disciplined to be mindful of your gap? Yeah, it's just that. Um, you know, a lot of that stuff is distraction. 
So you have to be ready to defend that particular play, but you also have to make sure you have your gap sound and you have discipline uh, throughout your defense and uh, setting edges, being in the right gap, not being distracted by that. And, and the other part of that is being physical as you're doing that. So, um, you know, you get challenged by that. A lot of different offenses around the league. It's something we try to do to opposing defenses. And, uh, and, and it's just that. It's being disciplined. It's being fundamentally sound, staying physical, and then making tackles when you have opportunities to do that. All of how you feel your defense has done in that area and group. Yeah, we haven't done a good enough job here recently. The other day was not up to our standard. We've been a good run defense the last few years. Uh, it's something we take great pride in, and uh, we did not do a good enough job on a consistent enough basis in the game the other day. How would you assess where Jalen and Ben was just played for you after five weeks? Yeah, again, I'm not really into the five-week assessments of things. You know, those guys have done a really good job for us. Over the course of their careers, their young players who are getting better and better and better as we go uh, has not been perfect for them or for any or anybody on our defense or throughout our team. But they go about it the right way, and they're learning and growing. And uh, they've made a lot of big plays for us. There's some issues that we got to get get rectified, but that's every player and every aspect of our team. Some of those issues, man, was about. Oh, this is my second year in the league. Guys, freaking me out a little bit. Is that part of that issue, man? Uh, I don't know that I see that. Uh, I think it's just the challenges of playing NFL football. You know, the other guys are good, and uh, you have to make sure that you continue to stay on the screws, and, and he learns from his experiences. His approach is outstanding. And uh, he learns and grows, builds on the good things, corrects the, the issues that come up, and, and gets better week by week. Over the last several years, you guys have finished defensively at the bottom of the league in interceptions. Are you surprised that that trend has kind of been there? And, and why do you think that you guys have intercepted more passes? It, it's certainly something that we have to uh, continue to strive to get better at. Uh, we talk about it a lot, you know, the importance of taking the ball away and, and turnover ratio. And uh, we have to do a great job securing the ball offensively and going to get the ball on defense. And uh, I, I believe the ball is a team thing. Uh, securing it is a team thing. Going to get it is a team thing. And so every level of our defense is responsible for it. Uh, we have to punch the ball out more. We've got to scoop and score. We've got to intercept more passes. Those are impactful plays in the game. So we're constantly striving to do that better and better. Is it something that can be taught, or players just have the innate ability to always be around the ball? Well, I don't think there's any question. There are some guys that, that you're around who, who, are, who are ball guys, and they probably were ball guys at every level of football that they've played. They just seem to be around it, and they make plays on it. Uh, but it's certainly something you have to continue to emphasize. You have to prioritize it. Uh, in practice, and hopefully it comes alive in the game for you. The script in practice this week, will there be any uh, specific periods that were added to reflect just the need to improve tackling from this past week? Uh, it's really part of what we do uh, really in every practice. Uh, we're always working on tackling. You know, as you know, we only practice in pads today, and, and very rarely do we do, do we do a take them to the ground tackling drill, but tackling is part of every every uh, the everyday drills that we do with our defense. Uh, some form of it, whether it's angles, form up, whatever we're doing. It's a big part of what we're doing. The best defense is tackle. Amari said after the game he's dealing with a quad deal from the game. He's obviously got the ankle too. Will he practice today and do? Uh, we anticipate him being out there. He might be limited because of those reasons. Twice in, I guess, the last three days, one of Jerry Jones has expressed, uh, I guess, a lack of confidence in, in Mar being able to make kicks when they go out there. Why is that? Why do you feel differently about him and what he's yeah, Brett's made a lot of big kicks for us in the past, and uh, he's got to make he's got to make them. We give him opportunities. Uh, he's missed three this year. Uh, one was 55, one was 54, and then he missed the one at the end of the ball game. I think was 33. So the expectation is you have to make the 33 yarders 100 percent of the time, and he's done a good job with the kicks over 50 over the last couple of years, and just has to get back to making those kicks. Thank you. All right, good to see you guys. Thanks, Jason.